Welcome back to the Reptiles with Podcast. We're hanging out at a reptile show. We have Alex. That Alex is, is back. Name. I am Listen, back. you haven't come to one of these shows since I think the last time people saw you, which the, was Atlanta. Black is back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How you doing, man? Doing good. Doing good. Nice Hell and yeah. tired, like always. Yeah, he's always tired. Uh, for the people that have listened to the podcast for a long time, this face is familiar. For the new pe- for the new people, this is not familiar. So when we started this podcast. It was mainly just Alex and I, and then I moved to Central Florida, and then I mm. met the regular cast. Uh, but Alex is my business partner with Modern Reptile. We pretty much started all of this together, plus our bro- our brother-in-law. Uh, and we're here hanging out, dude. We're getting the show started. This episode is pretty much going to be like a big update. We're going to meet up with Tino. I'm going to meet up with Eric and give you guys uh, a heads up on some things that are happening on this channel. But let's talk about the show. Did we see anything cool? I'll leave that up. Yeah, I saw you, bro. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen you in fucking yeah. forever. <laughs> no, there's some cool stuff. People got a lot of cool different morphs. I saw some pretty big bows that are pretty cool. Yeah. Um, there was that, uh, it was like a super fire IMG bow by Da Vinci bow that it yeah, was like all that thing, white. That thing was dope. Yeah, it had like the black speck on the like, face. Yeah, yeah, specks all over it, but like all white and just little scale specks. It wasn't even like big blotches yeah that thing is pretty cool yeah and then you know bob's balls has nice balls Nice balls yeah Yeah, he's he's got the balls balls. always yeah bob's got balls yeah man so i'm excited for the show it's it's usually i mean we didn't have a great uh daytona uh the national reptile breeders expo it was it was a little rough for us so there's going to be a really good indication on whether or not we should do that this year uh this show is kind of placed at a at a time where like a lot of stuff hasn't gotten produced yet so it's kind of like a layover show where we have stuff that didn't sell from last yeah. year or like the late stuff that came out that produced late exactly yeah. exactly so we're kind of getting a, a vibe for where the market is at because people are always complaining about the market and this and that but I, I'm, I'm excited for the show i'm excited for the show yeah, yeah. me yeah. too me too i am definitely excited I, I don't get to do these very often so when i do i you know and if you see me stopping in the middle of talking or looking around is because we're doing this in the middle of the show yeah and we're the only ones here so it's we're doing it live yeah. or you see random cuts it's not because i said something bad it's because it's because he said something bad Alex it could be that too i like yeah. to say bad things he likes know? to spew profanities uh he's highly cancelable <laughs> I'm yeah, mama didn't teach me better because you know she left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's uh, let's get the show started. Uh, is there anything that you want to tell the people now that you're in front of the camera and you haven't been in front of the camera in so long? Um, I will probably be on again very soon. If we get if 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 I'm able to make the next show, then I'll be on soon. Yeah. If not, in a little while. Cool. But. Cool. No, come buy some balls, come buy some skinks, come buy some everything, yeah. buy it. Yeah, we're, we're really it pushing the business now because of things that you're going to hear on this episode. Again, this is, more than anything, this is a big update. It's not our typical episode. It is the most important update that has ever been done on this channel. Actually, yeah. So we're going to meet up with Tino, we're going to meet up with Eric, and at the end of the video, I'm going to kind of round up on what is going to be the future of what we're doing at Modern Reptile, what I'm going to be doing, and just things that are going forward with this channel. Let's get started. We're hanging out at another Woo! reptile show. Yes. It's a big show. Yep. Tino, you got some stuff. I did. I was, you know, on the drive here, I was like, no, I'm not getting anything. There's going to be nothing there that I want. There's no reason to even go, whatever. But I have found... A Sulawesi black-tailed rat snake. Nice. Ganya Soma Gansani. It is a dream snake of mine. Okay. I've always wanted one of these. They're very cool. It's a female. It's like maybe three, four foot almost. So cool. Very okay. excited. Whip it out for me. I will whip it out. Hell Wait, which yeah. one? Oh, whoa! And here she is. Hey. That's her. Oh, dude. Yeah, for the I'm camera. Not tr- I'm, yeah, I'm not trying to be weird, but that tongue movement is peak. Yeah. That is so cool. So cool. Yeah. I'm very so excited. why this over like a red tail green rat or something so like that? So the red tail green rats, you know I'm not gonna lie, I love the color green, but sometimes for a green snake, it's not really my thing. Okay. It's not really my thing. But this with the black tail, they get so long, they just it's just a green colubrid. It really okay. is. And is that something that is like when you when you buy something like that, mm-hmm. is that a pet? Is that a breeder? It is a wild caught animal, so I fully intend to breed it. 
Okay. Yeah, I think at some point, uh, hopefully, and with, I mean, all snakes will probably get to this point, quote, quote, all snakes, um, to a point where they are established in the hobby, not prolific like ball pythons or corn snakes, you know, yeah. those will always have their markets, but at least to a point where we no longer have to import any more animals, any more wild pots, yeah. and we can always just defer to the captive hobby. Of course, of So course. eventually, these will make it into the hobby where if anybody wants to, they can just be like, hey, Tino, I want one. All right, shipping you one. Yeah, now, that's it. I don't know if you already said it. Is that sexed? It is. It's a female. It's a female. Oh, okay, perfect. Yep. So Exciting. Get a male. Exciting. Yeah. Uh, what's like the availability of something like that? Finding a male. Is the first one I've ever seen in my life. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's the first I've ever seen. I know um, Nerd is working with them or has worked with them in the past. Okay. Uh, on Morph Market, you can find some available uh, okay. wild caught imports and stuff. For me, it's like a matter of like, if I can't see the animals condition in person i am sketchy about receiving one okay. um and there's also like a full black variety johnny soma gantz and i black yeah. and those are really cool but they're super yeah. expensive, bad expensive. Okay, okay i have my dad behind me i'm recording <laughs> <laughs> my dad's over here massaging me <laughs> Oh, You're nervous. Man, you gotta work the nerves out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, dude, it's fucking exciting. How are you enjoying the show? It's good. It's good. Yeah. Uh, it's a good show. Yeah. It's nice. I've always said it's like the second Daytona. Okay. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. I actually, so we don't know if we are doing Daytona or not this year. Mm -hmm. And pretty much it depends on how this show does. Okay. This is the show that will fund our potential Daytona trip. And also, it kind of gives us an idea of what people are buying. It gives us an idea if the market is good because right. it's been just weird in general. Yeah. But yeah, dude. You've had some free time open up. Are you like, is there like stuff you want to work on with your website and stuff? Go ahead and have more projects to do more. Yes. So I do want to put a lot of energy on what is modern reptile. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously I sell animals, usually the animals I produce and some of my friends' animals. We put your animals on my yeah. table and stuff like that. But I want to get into, you know, dealing with broader scale, different species, captive hatch, or at, at least captive hatch, but for sure captive bred. Yeah. I want to kind of do my best to stray away from the imports, but I want to put a lot of energy back into modern yeah. reptile oh, versus yeah, the, the other outlets I have. And the reason why Tino says that, and I'm super unemployed right now. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, um, but it's fine, whatever. I, I'm actually, I don't want to say I'm relieved, but I was dealing with like a health issue before uh, yeah. what happened to me. And I realized that a lot of it had to do with stress from where I was. Yeah. And now that stress is gone and my health issues have cleared up. Nice. Which is yeah. really good. Perfect. Uh, and yeah, dude, I'm excited. And talking too, about man. excitement, we have to talk about what's coming out this week. This week is the start of some videos that we recorded a couple months oh, okay. ago. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to like preface what yeah, like, these so videos are? Yeah, so they're like. So we've got the podcast on the channel. Yoshi has got some like individual videos about uh, getting snakes in or about uh, like just stuff that I was breeding. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Specific to modern reptile. We want to go ahead and give like the the YouTube a little bit more variety. Yeah. Have more people like go in and it just be like. In general, well, I mean, we're comedians. We like having fun. We like to make people laugh. We did a couple videos doing like little games involving reptiles. Like, for example, guess the reptile based on the close-up picture or guess the reptile morph, you know, all this different kinds of stuff. So you'll see a couple of videos coming out. Uh, I hope you laugh. I hope they're funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We look like idiots. Yeah, that we do. So I'm not sure which one's the one that's going to release first, but that's going to come out two days from the release of this episode, which Sweet. is Friday. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. Um, I don't know if it's going to be bi-weekly or once a month, but I know we have to start. Now that I have a little bit more free time, we, we should start, start recording time. a little bit more. Yeah. All right, Mr. Eric, oh, what are you playing with? I'm playing with a Brettles python. Okay. Who produced that? Uh, I don't know. Some loser, right? Yeah. Yeah. Some guy walking I like, around with a beard. I like how you ball it up like it's a ball python. Yeah, because it is. No, it's not. No. It's fun. Listen, you were like roasting these things like three seconds ago, so I want you to repeat everything you just said to me, roasting these fucking animals into the camera. All right, I like the color yellow. This is a red snake. This is not my cup of tea. That's all. Okay. Um, they're not that bad. I, I, I give them a lot of I give them a lot of crap, but um, basically the way I roast it is I I generally don't see the allure. The allure, like yeah. Uh, I like the fact that it's a different species from carpets, but for me that's about it, you know. Their colors are nice, but not the prettiest in my opinion. Um, 
it's just like a, a big red postal. You know, they are very friendly as far as carpets go, so I'll give them that. But I like I like jungles better. Do you know why they're not Spilota? Why they're not? Yeah. Do you know why? No, I do not. I just asked All you. Right. <laughs> so there's two main reasons. Um, the geographical range is so isolated for so long. Okay. Um, they're from the center of Australia compared to the rest of the, the carpets, which are pretty much on the edge. Um, that and they also lack a like it's like a shield scale. I think that's what it's called. If I remember correctly. Um, basically, it's like a big scale that's on their head. As you can see, it's a very it's just a bunch of small scales. Okay. Instead of having that big shield scale that all the rest of the carpets have. Yeah. So. Those are the two main reasons that I'm aware of. I really haven't looked very deeply into brettles, but they are very interesting. Yeah. So I know that the last time that we spoke on the on the podcast at a show, we we're talking about uh, like some carpet pythons that you want to get into and stuff like that. I actually did speak to my friend Bayard, which does uh, produce specifically the mm -hmm. snows and stuff like that that you want. He was telling me that he's not sure when he's going to produce the snows, but he has like head head pairings, so. You know, I know that you, we wanted to get you an albino head exanthic, yeah. but we might be able to get you just maybe a double head. Yeah, yeah, yeah double head albino yeah, exanthic. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you, there was another one that you were interested in that you were telling me that you were like, oh, maybe I should switch out that gamma for... I like ivories a lot. Okay, which jungle uh, ivory, it's okay. pretty much a line bred jungle that so, comes out as I am so sorry. We're doing this at a show. I'm going to go help think? somebody real quick. Yeah. Anyways, now that we're back... Funny enough, as you're shitting on this fucking carpet python, I just sold two of them. Congratulations. Fuck you. <laughs> Listen, uh, something that happened recently to both of us, we are on to new endeavors. Yes. Uh, you are currently unemployed like me. What's up, buddy? Unemployed life, what's the plan? Listen. We got Animal Adventures. We have a documentary that we're going to shoot this year. We got a lot of stuff that we're going to be doing. Hopefully, you can come to more shows with me. We're going to be hanging out. Tell me, tell me what are some of your aspirations in the animal field the going animal forward? Animal field? Yeah, Honestly, yeah. the only thing I have solid to wait on is just breeding the carpets and the turtles. Just, just a little hobby, some passive, not passive, but side income. Okay. I'm going to get another job. Don't know exactly what yet. Like to go back to, I, I want to see if I can take advantage and try to do school and work at the same time. Yeah. So I don't screw myself over. Okay. Um, but they'll they'll be around. The animals will be around. I want to do educational shows too. Once I get my class three stuff all figured out, yeah. which I I've think been slacking we, on. I'm not gonna lie. I think we could do that a lot sooner than you think. Oh yeah. Yeah. We should probably think oh, about yeah. that this week. Um, the in terms of getting new animals, I'm trying my best not to get anything else other than what I'm trying to breed. And I ended up taking home a pied pectinata. Yes. Um, the last shows, so I'm going to be raising that one up and make sure that one's super social, super nice to everybody. Yeah. Because I'd like to take that as some sort of uh, education animal. And I'm going to keep my water python as well. Yeah. That was one that I was on the chopping block for a long time. Yeah. And keep him as like an outreach animal because he is my nicest snake to date. Yeah. Um, everybody else is, uh, I don't trust everybody else like that. So, so I, I really have to focus on education, educational shows. The well. reason why I bring it up to you is that you told me something that you wanted to do, which I thought was an amazing idea. You're going to have to jog my mind. Buddy, we're about to go for a jog, all right? Your videos, man. That's right. Reptiverse. Yes, 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 yes. He, Eric has legitimately the best, like, screen name or what is it, handle, username, username, et cetera. Username. Reptiverse is dope. You need to get on YouTube, man. I want you. I want to push you during this time to to do some videos yeah. on your own. I mean, obviously, I'll help you whatever, with whatever you need. But uh, you want to pitch some of the ideas that you have for, for what is yeah, your channel? Yeah. So ever since high school, I had this little idea of a a snake video. It's called yeah. Snakes Explained, and it's basically what a snake is. Yeah. You know, biology. Why is it a snake? Why is it different from a lizard yeah. and stuff? And I had all the notes and everything written down on a notebook, and I just never got to it I wanted to have it animated in some sort of way yeah so just like a very crude like just you know stick yeah. figure animation um, I don't know just to make it different yeah because everything reptile related right now it's either a POV when you're working with the animal or it is you sitting at a chair on a desk with animals in the background uh -huh. um, talking with like lists and stuff like that so not that I don't want to do that it's a good idea I just want to introduce something different I don't think anyone's really doing anything animation wise with reptiles okay um, and again, it's not going to be anything crazy. I'm terrible with drawing stuff, 
but I could ask around. I got some friends that could probably be able to help me we can work on something together. Okay. You know. So I got some ideas just floating around. Yeah, well, I want to really push you to do that. Um, I know that this episode, for the people that are listening, is pretty much just a really big, not only are we at a reptile show, but an update of what's kind of going on in our lives. Uh, and we got a lot of big things that are coming this year. And it's weird that it's the beginning of the year and so much already yeah. has happened. But listen, Eric, let's... A lot uh, of plot. Yeah, yeah, a lot of plot. Let's enjoy the rest of the show. Let's do it. All right, so I just got back from the show. I'm starting to get settled. I know that this is not the typical podcast that you guys are used to. I know that it's shorter than what you guys are used to, but there is a lot going on. And if you didn't get the vibe from like some of the stuff that we spoke about on this episode... Pretty much you're going to be seeing one less sponsor than usual because we are no longer going to be recording at the place where we used to record because we're no longer affiliated with them. Uh, You know, as you could, as you probably have heard throughout the episode uh, with some of the stuff that Tino, Eric and I spoke about. Um, But we had a lot of plans this year and one of them was actually to move out of said location and be a little bit more mobile, record at, you know, try to travel a little bit more within Florida. We want to record while, you know, at some of these herping spots that we're going to be going to because this is a reptile podcast and we feel like it should be done outside where these animals live, you know? Uh, But a lot of things are happening. We have a lot of exciting stuff going on in this channel. Uh, Next week, we're back to regularly scheduled programming as far as that goes. Uh, we have the videos coming out this Friday. We have a video coming out this Friday, which is not a podcast. It's a YouTube video. It's fun. It's funny. We want you guys to enjoy that kind of stuff. And if you do enjoy it, we're going to be doing a lot more of it. And also we have a new merch line that should be coming out very, very soon. I appreciate you guys for checking out this episode. Uh, I apologize that it's a little bit maybe a little bit out of the norm for this podcast, but we're back to it next week. Thank you so much. This was the Reptiles With Podcast.